Like so many Americans at the height of the recession, Diane Lawrence found herself out of a job with no prospects of long-term employment in sight. And I thought, I need my own source of income. I need to start my own business. But easier said than done, Diane didn't have any money to start a business. Hello, Neighborhood News. So Diane created the Neighborhood News, which she funded with ad sales from businesses in her mid-city region of Los Angeles. Five years later, her circulation has grown to 14,000. She has a dedicated staff, and it's now her full-time job. I walk my dog all the time, so I get stories from people in my community. Diane says people today are so rushed to get where they're going, they don't always notice everything their community has to offer. But she's seen how a neighborhood newspaper can change that. Look, there's an art gallery that just opened up in the community. Wow, that's fantastic. Here we are in amazing Lafayette Square. This is a community that was settled by a lot of silent film stars. And shedding light on little known hot spots in her community has benefited everyone involved. The Neighborhood News is the excellent source for knowing what's going on with your community, your neighbors. I like to see what other people are doing. I like to find out about the different restaurants. Diane says if you want to publish a community newspaper, it's important to make sure that your ad sales cover all printing costs. So you should create a mock-up to show potential ad buyers to see if they'd support the paper. When Diane knocked on America Now's door, we couldn't resist. If you do it right, you have this wonderful partnership between the businesses and the community, and that's the way you want to think about it. You're partnering with your local businesses and your community to support each other. Kim Berry owns Indulgent Concept Hair Salon and says advertising in the neighborhood news has helped boost the local economy. They send their clients here for haircuts, and we send our clients there for food, so it, it helps us to piggyback off each other and keep the money circulating in the neighborhood. So if you think your community could benefit from a neighborhood newspaper and you want to start one, Diane says these are the first three steps. Go to your local bank and set up a DBA, doing business as account. Create a mock layout of your paper to show potential advertising. Advertisers. And remember, you should have enough ad revenue to cover your expenses.